Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm glad that we live in a world where not only can we have a good burger too, but also Girls Aloud can be back. No longer will the highlight of their career be playing Mario Kart on a Nintendo DS ad. A menacing Pokemon awaits before you. Watch it, Haruto. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills? They're venomous. Careful, they're hot, to quote Kronk from the Emperor's new crew. I hope they're going to use Metal Bat. Fish me. Fugu me. Fugu me. <laughs> Fugu me. There's like, like... That Simpsons episode is like the perfect example of like... What was so good about old Simpsons compared to new Simpsons? Is this gonna be good? Also lowers the users, blah blah blah. Well, we might as well use this one. Or this one. Also uses the... raises the attack speed. Well, if I use this... I can use this and then I can use the other one. Once. Like, depending on how much damage this does. Not that much. So this will be like, regular strength. This is like so loud, Jesus. Oh my God. I need to turn this down. So that like, that like... What are you doing strong style for? Who said you could do that? Metal Bat fainted, no. That like old Simpsons episode is the perfect example of a, of like an episode where... Which shows like what the older Simpsons writing had that like newer Simpsons writing doesn't. Do you know what? I'm just gonna use a fucking Hall of Horsepower. I literally don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the Hall of Horsepower. <laughs> Hull Horse, Boingo Brothers, or Oingo Hull Horse Brothers, or it's something like that, who knows. The, um... Because, like, right, so it starts out with something that's completely normal, right? A family going for dinner, right? Then you have, like, something that's also completely relatable, the dad who's like, I'm gonna eat, like, this thing that I shouldn't eat, you know? Even though everyone advises me it's not a good idea, I'm gonna eat this thing, right? Just like, no, honey, you can't eat the, like, 52-ounce steak. Oh, I'm gonna be fine, blah, blah, blah. I had a light lunch or some shit like that, right? So, totally relatable. The dad who won't listen to his family, who just re refuses not to eat the thing they're not supposed to eat, right? Um... Then, you ha that turns into, like... Try to hit Azelf with bombs. Do I have to, like, go behind it or something like that? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to hit it. Maybe I'm just supposed to try to hit it. <laughs> the, um... Will you abandon this folly? I'm not done with this. I'm gonna get back in the ring. Preparation's vital, but so is persistence. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> What the hell are they trying to teach me? This isn't a this isn't a spiritual journey. What the hell? I didn't give up. I thought that the option I said was I'm not through with this, which was persistence or something. What the hell? Feel a mysterious presence, blah blah blah. I'm tired of all with all this Lion King spirit in the sky garbage. Just let me fight something. I'm gonna hit you. Look out, boy, cuz I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna make you love me. Do I just have to, like, keep trying to hit it? And then, like, when it asks me, do you give up, be like, I'm not giving up. Sometimes giving up is the right thing. Like, I don't like this culture that we have sometimes where it's like, you should just keep trying. It's like, 
sometimes you shouldn't keep trying. There are just some things that you're never going to- <laughs> never going to do. Oh, I'm done with this. I'm not through yet. Oh, I thought it said I'm not done with this. I just misread it. Where's the little stinker now? Um, what was I saying? I, I was talking about something. I was talking about like, but then like that episode of The Simpsons turns out into like this really melancholy kind of like, oh, our father is like reckoning with potentially, potential death. Like, it's really kind of sad, you know? It's like, it's like when, when you're faced with potentially being like, and one night away from death, what goes through your mind? I'm not through yet, whatever. I know the name of the game. Keep trying. But thou must. One of these days I'm gonna hit this stupid thing. You seem to have passed my arbitrary test. Not yet, though. Oh, we get it, right? We get the the gag, right? Don't give up. If you give up, then fear is the mind killer or whatever. We get it, right? Okay, where's my next terrible gift? Yeah, I think, like, that's what I really love about, like, the old Simpsons, is that, like, they just work as that kind of family sitcom, right? Azelf's Fang. Wasn't Azelf the one that was, like, a competitive monster? Competitive powerhouse? Just one more to go. The, um... So, like, I think, like, older Simpsons had, like, relatable family situations, or that kind of way. Like, and yes, things got, like, a bit zanier as things went on, but still in the middle, like, let's say in, like, the Hank Scorpio one, it's like, you still had, like, the relatable factor of, oh, our dad took this new job and uprooted the entire family, and how do each of us struggle with fitting into this new place, do you know what I mean? Like, you're not, you don't have just completely crazy off-the-wall stuff just for the sake of it, if you know what I mean, like... I think that's what's like what went missing now i did see a youtube video that tried to bait me right i saw a youtube thumbnail that tried to bait me by saying the newest simpsons is like the writing is back or something like that it was some like click baity thumbnail and i was like i'm not falling for it i'm not falling for it i'm happy living in my in my world where fraser has risen again Frasier has risen again from the ashes. Girls allowed are in this back in the studio where they belong. And uh and Good Burger 2 is about to come to a television near you. Life is sweet right now. I don't need somebody like I don't need somebody tricking me into thinking the Simpsons might potentially be good again and have recaptured its old writing's talent. Dash more speed. Things in Jubilife Village are tense. The, po the political situation in Rabinaster is tense. We're trapped between whatever. What is the, n the name of the well, Dalmaska? Bosch von Ronsenberg of Dalmaska. Well, no, Dalmaska is the good kingdom. Dalmaska is the small little kingdom that's stuck between like one empire and the other, or whatever. The Rosarians are the ones that you never see, right? Except for that one prince who shows up two-thirds of the way through the game and is like, Oh yeah, by the way, like, uh, good to see you. I'm the rock star royalty from that other nation that you've never heard of so far, but we play a pivotal role in the story that you just haven't seen. We also want to take out whatever Larsa's older brother's name is or whatever. One of those ginkgo guild merchants. You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? This is like that moment in Murder, She Wrote, every Murder, She Wrote episode where something random gets said and you're like, 
this is totally going to be part of the solution to the mystery. You know, like, there, this person is like, oh, um, well, I couldn't possibly have carnations in a bouquet because I'm allergic to them. And then, like, 40 minutes later, Jessica Fletcher is like, I knew that the bouquet couldn't have been there. Why well, it couldn't have been the original bouquet that was there because knowing that Volo was actually chronically allergic to carnations and they're like, I would have got away with it too if it weren't for your keen eye, Jessica Fletcher. <coughs> Murder, She Wrote is such like pippet tier weekend afternoon viewing. Like, when you're there on a Sunday and you're like, do you know what, it's Sunday, all I have to do is get up, have breakfast, relax, have lunch, relax, have dinner. You know, that kind of ideal Sunday. Jessica Fletcher, like, Murder, She Wrote, is like, god-tier viewing for that kind of day. Absolute god-tier viewing material. Or Columbo. Maybe it's just me, because that's what I'm used to. Let's check out the hot spring while we're at it. Like, I, I think it's like, good to make a habit of checking out that hot spring. Because you never know what might appear there. Isn't it, like, up here somewhere? Also, you never know when you might, like, experience one of those, uh... One of those, like, space-time rifts or whatever, which is another source of Pokémon that you might never, never see otherwise. So isn't the hot spring here? I think. Maybe I'm wrong. It feels like this is where it should be. Am I going to the right place? No, it's it's here. Okay. What, why can you fly up here? What's up? What the fuck is up here? Ice Peak Are Oh, that's that's where Avalog is. Um, but yeah, maybe it's just because that's what I. What, what sticks in my mind as being, like, what, like, I would watch on the weekend. Like, when I was in college, like, especially when I was in college, but even when I was in secondary school, that's the kind of thing that I used to watch. Jessica Fletcher and Columbo. I like, I loved, not loved, but do lo love Columbo still. There's something so tight about, like, the writing. Peter Falk is a brilliant actor. Why am I going in the wrong direction? I don't have to walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around in circles, walk around in... Like vines we intertwine, like vines we intertwine, the sea growing up and growing all at once on our tongues, on our tongues. Semi-obscure alternative music, do one after the other. All I'm trying to do is find this hot spring. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to give the people what they want. I, I Now I went past it. What the hell am I doing? I can't follow a map for shit. What, what, I don't want the Wunzler. I mean, I do want the Wunzler. I mean, I don't want the Wunzler. Don't tell anyone. But I do want... I don't want the Sneasler, anyway. Okay, so what's in this hot spring today? A Snorlax. There's a Snorlax in there. What the hell is the other thing? A cat? When did you ever see a cat in a hot spring? Maybe I could catch the Snorlax. Get away. I don't want you. Stop thinking I want you in my life. What the hell is the other blue thing? Oh no, it's an A-Palm. I thought it was a, a glam a sham wow. I thought it was a glam glam meow. I think it's just a Machop, the blue thing over there. Okay, now run away. <laughs> Will this work? No. Did we shock him? Please shock him. Level 47, we can take him. <clears throat> but yeah, so like Columbo and um Columbo and Murder She Wrote, they used to always play them on Sundays, like on the weekend. On like ITV3 or something. Well no, like 
Je like Jessica Fletcher would probably be on like something else, but like Columbo was definitely on something like ITV3 or something. And they are just like peak like weekend viewing material. I don't think anything else comes close to either Columbo or, or Angela Lansbury. Like you get like like if you think of that like cozy sitting room co cozy sitting room vibe. Well, it's like somebody's crunchy salt. Yeah, it's just a bunch of dummies otherwise here in this <laughs> just a bunch of dummies on in this hot spring. <laughs> um so yeah, maybe it's just because that's what I remember so vividly watching myself, because that's what was on. But I can't think of anything else that like holds a candle to either of those two, either of those two when it comes to like that cozy sitting room Sunday with the fire on, you know? Nothing else is as good as any of them. Did I literally just die? No, Jesus Christ. I was like, if I died like right in the camp... Imagine the trauma that that would inflict on these people. They're sitting around in the camp and they just see like a, t a like a, thirteen-year-old kid fall out of the sky, <laughs> and get mangled. It's like I don't want to inflict that on them. Oh God. I'm at this like really annoying part of this cold, as I say, where like, technically I feel perfectly fine, but like. My nose is trying to get rid of all of this mucus that's obviously in my system. So, like, that's there every now and then. And then, like, the back of my throat is just tickly where it's like, oh my god, stop. There is the Alpha Chime Echo again. We already got you. I, I have enough Alpha Chime Echo now. And we caught the bat, the Dunkleo stews, the Basculon or whatever. Which I can't believe I did. Oh my god, nose, stop it. Stop harboring mucus. Here we are, Lake Acuity. Blah, 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 blah. This cave was once haunted by the Pokemon Uxi, who blah, 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 blue. I still haven't watched New Frasier. It's one of those things where I'm literally, like, afraid to watch it. Like, Frasier is something... Like, I remember my parents used to watch Frasier when... When I remember being, like, ten, and my parents watching Frasier, and I started watching it as well. So literally all throughout my... My formative years, from ten and up through my teens, right? Into college, I adored Frasier. Me as a college student, 21 years old, watching Frasier back to back to back to back. A menacing Pokemon stands before you. Inside you, there are two foxes. I know, you don't need me to tell you this, Haruto, but I've still got to say it. Be careful around that thing. What is up with Adamant's enunciation all of a sudden? Okay, so what do we fight this thing with? It's the ghost normal thing. So what's it weak against? Dark, yeah, probably. Does Armstrong know Crunch? I don't think it does. Does Kerochan know Crunch? Yeah, but Kerochan is weak as shit. We might just use Armstrong and just, like, beat it down. <laughs> we might just use Armstrong and beat it down. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna bring the beat down. The, um, oh my god. They gave you a bad weave. I know, every time they give me a bad weave, I'm like, why did you give me a bad weave? My head starts spinning, and my head falls off, and I'm rolling around to the ground, like, why did you give me a bad weave? But they definitely got a bad weave. I mean, look at this. Offensive stats raised. I kind of feel like just, like, seeing, can I, like, is there any way that I can hit this thing twice? I could use weak hull horsepower and then like strong hull horsepower and then that would probably take it out. That's what I'm like anticipating. Trying to play me at my own game. What's that supposed to do? Snarl? My offensive stats were lowered. Fuck off. I might as well like go for it. Oh I can do strong style now. 
just gonna go for it. Armstrong, take it to the fridge. <laughs> so yeah, I'm literally kind of afraid to watch new Frasier, because I'm like, what if it's not good? Like, that, that, that's what, like, I have this huge fear that I'm like, what if it just isn't good? Because, like, I think Frasier is just so good. Like, it has that perfect combination of brilliant acting, brilliant writing, fantastic humor, right? Like, jokes that, like, bits that are, like, woven into the, into the writing that don't feel forced. Um, fantastic characterization really heartwarming moments like oh my god like that 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 end of season episode where Frasier is asking himself is he happy I could like watch that every day of my life I could literally watch that episode every day of my life that one I literally think it's the end of the first season where he's asking himself am I happy and it's the whole episode takes place inside in Cafe Nervosa it's so brilliant or like, Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are there eyes? Wait a second. Combi has like six eyes. Zubat has two eyes. So eight. Magneton has three eyes. Eleven. Dusclops has one eyes. Twelve. One eyes. Twelve. Answer me. I'm ready to answer. Twelve. If they're like, Zubat has no eyes, I'm like, that's a Jigglypuff viewed from above. No, not 122 eyes. As a series of number, enter your round. What? And then one by one? Fuck, okay. So then it's like, wait a second, what was the, what was the question? I didn't read the whole maths problem. What, what is the question again? Hang on a second. It said like then one at a time or something like that. Combi Zubat on oh, unknown has like one eye. So that's like six, eight, nine, twelve, thirteen. How many are there eyes? Thirteen. One by one, yet all at once. Ah, now I get it. I'm ready to answer. Okay, so it's... So it's... Combi, Zubat, Unown, Magneton, Dusclops. This is like two... This is... Wait a second, what? Zubat does have two eyes. It's a Jigglypuff viewed from above. I'm gonna try zero, but then I'm gonna call bullshit on it. Six zero one three one. Uh, it's a Jigglypuff viewed from above. Or like, like my favorite Frasier moment, the whole episode where Frasier is like, accidentally gets rid of Martin's chair because like he's so like, they're, like, it's when you start picking across part the layers, it's so good, right? Like, he gets rid of Martin's chair because he's so full of his own, so, like, self-important that he believes that he knows best, right? And he thinks that, well, why wouldn't my father prefer a new chair? Failing to take into account that if his dad wanted a new chair, he could have got it any time over the last 30 years, right? But no, Fraser is right, so he gets the new chair completely ruins Martin's life because this chair was so important, can't see why, then ends up becoming angry at his own father because he makes it all about him saying nothing that I do is ever, like, good enough for you or all this kind of crap, right? And you're just intentionally being angry about this chair because you're a grumpy old man, right? And then Martin delivers, like, the most heartwarming speech about, like, how he wants the chair that he was sitting in when Neil Armstrong walked on the moon and he wants the chair where like where like Fraser's mom used to kiss him goodnight when he had fallen asleep in it and sometimes he still thinks that she's there it's like so like 
it's like so touching and like the like the delivery is so good and I'm like is new Frasier going to be as good as that is there like a world where a new Frasier can be as good as that was and I'm like do I really want it do I really want to to know that I'd prefer to be like Schrodinger's Frasier where as long as Schrodinger's Frasier is inside in the box it, it can be both Amazing and awful at the same time. What the fuck is this? Two Ursa rings? A fucking... What the hell is that third one? Two Ursa rings. It looks like some sort of automaton. A nine tails. Whatever that thing is. Then that looks like a flying squirrel. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. Let's just get move on with this. <laughs> the world of Pokemon and the world of Mist. And wait, we, we, we would need a setting such as this. Did we just teleport to, to Mount Coronet all of a sudden? My beautiful Coronet. What are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Kogita has left her her domain. Did she literally just like walk here? Walk your dress like that. Showing up only when the time is right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. Rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Who was it? Was it Togepi? Oh no, I made the Togepi population extinct. <laughs> we speak of a divine instrument. One's <laughs> one said to be capable of... Cracking the world's shell. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? Yeah, we were promised a divine instrument. Oh, it's those three. So who's the remarkable Pokemon that guided her here? These are the Pokemon of the lakes, the lake trio. I suppose they needed to get some relevance somehow. Azelf is no longer the darling of the competitive Pokemon world. No one cares about this shit anymore. You received the red chain. You. <laughs> We're literally getting to the end game here, by the way. So I think, like, like, I'll finish recording after this episode. I think, but like. Tomorrow I'll have time to record in the morning again. I might even, like, finish the game. Yeah, throw down your burden, Kogita. You've succeeded once again, Haruto. Yet things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? Fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. Commander is going to forego waiting our investigation. To oh my god. He's executing Order 66 himself on Mount Coronet. What is he... What is he thinking? Vo like Adamant doing the Patrick Stewart meme again. Patrick Stewart, another actor, like another celebrity who advertised DS games. Didn't you ever see Patrick Stewart playing Dr. Kawashima's brain training on the DS? <laughs> I'll never forget, like... Dr. Kawashima's brain training not understanding my mother saying the word blue. I lost my shit. She got so pissed off. Like, it was one of those instances where I see, like, parts of my own self in my parent, right? Because she's very even-tempered, but gets, like, pissed off by things that are complete bullshit. So, like, she was there playing Dr. Kawashima's brain training. And you know what it is? Like, the word shows up on the screen, but you have to say the color of the word, not, like, the... The, the word that it says and here she was saying blue but because of her accent which is completely normal just not American the thing couldn't understand her so she was just like screaming the word blue at the DS and I was losing my shit <laughs> it's been grim here we in the survey corps hardly even speak to one another lately oh my god Jubilife town has become like a despotic society Kamado has turned Jubilife Town into Jubilife Village into a police state. Our only hope is that Ka is that like is that like opposition leader Celine will be will take over and restore justice. That's our only hope. I don't want to eat mochi with you. No. 
Can I be banished again, please? <laughs> Can I be... Please? Please? <laughs> Has been awfully worried about you, Haruto. Of course I was worried, Piglet. You don't think I could hold a candle to the distress you showed, Araki? I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make blah 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 blah. He does a lot of things that aren't appropriate for an adult. Fucking perv. She's buried under a mound of work. It seems her hands are more than full now that your man, your commando, is gone. The commander has gone rogue. He set out for Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. Determined to handle this old space time with his business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon. That's been spotted on the other side. She was the guard? They left a carry in charge of guarding the entire village? Things really have gone to shit here since I've been banished. This is the perfect time for me to like take control. I'll support Celine in her bid for in her bid for for power. Now in, in this time of political turmoil. Who knew Pokemon Legends Arceus was a was a tale of political intrigue, the likes of which we haven't seen since Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Or Final Fantasy XII, which are pretty much the same thing. No, not really. There's like, they feel so similar, right? Revenge of Decision and Final Fantasy XII feel so similar, like, to each other in terms of, um... One, in terms of, like, setting, there's a lot of similarity there that feels like, okay... Final Fantasy XII is very Star Wars-y. Like, there's something about it that feels so Star Wars-y. And, like... The fact that both of them are, like, political intrigue-driven, they just fit so well together. I assume you're here again because you've managed to learn something of use. Uh, I visited these lakes. So I'm not gonna tell you everything that Adam and Volo and I did on our road trip, but I'll give you the highlights. Legendary tools said to crack the world's shell. Mandra Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife Village. The time is ripe for a coup! We need to finish this video, it's been going on for over half an hour. Every time I think I'm going to finish the video, someone else starts talking. Oh, take the security guard to the mountain. They were made for the temple at the peak. Commander... Blah, 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 blah. As the captain of the security corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Haruto, take the red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to Kamado. Oh my god, she's literally put out a hit. This is like how the story goes. Celine tells me to take out her political her political nemesis, leaving her in like poised to take control. he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Oh my god. Celine is the Senate. Celine is the Senate. And like, literally, like, Laventon is probably like the dumbass Jar Jar Binks that ends up signing, like, her, her police state into law or some crap. Meanwhile, I get to be Anakin Skywalker, otherwise known as Hayden Christensen. Otherwise known as, in my from my point of view, Kamado is evil. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this part of Let's Play Pokemon Legends Arceus. Tomorrow when I record, I could legit finish the game if I manage not to get my ass handed to me. Because there's a couple of like battles coming up that I remember being kind of tough, so... See you next time. Are you going to try and sell me, like, a fridge for $20,000 again? Yeah, the mechanical pinwheel. I don't need it. Fuck off. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye now.